Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui, my grandfather, used to tell me stories and stories of him, what happened to him and his brother. His brother got run over by a truck, was paralyzed from head to toe. He was on his bed for a whole period of 11 months on his bed. He couldn't do anything. My granddad's brother, he told me this. Muchacha Harun, Dada Harun, I call him Dada Harun. He, he said that for 11 months I was paralyzed from head to toe when Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui, I think in the 19, early 1930s, he came by boat to Mauritius to celebrate the Milad of the Prophet Sallallahu to put love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the people's hearts. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui heard about one of his murids being paralyzed from head to toe. My grandfather's brother, Harun. Rahmatullahi alayhi, may Allah have mercy upon him. Passed away now. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui says, take me to so and so, my, 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 my dada's brother. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui went to him, opened the door. And my, my, dada, my dada Harun, is to say dada Harun. He said, Asalaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah Mawlana Sahib. Look at the state of me, I can't get up to salute you. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui said, what do you mean? What's wrong with you? Stand up with the permission of Allah. So as, as soon as Mawlana Dalim Siddiqui said, stand up with the permission of Allah, he got up and he started to walk, subhanAllah. He didn't have to even blow anything on him. He didn't even have to start doing ruqya on the guy. Mawlana Dalim Siddiqui said, what's wrong with you? There is nothing wrong with you. Qum bi idnillah. Get up in, with the permission of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He got up. This is first-hand accounts being, narrat being narrated to me. These are true stories. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui, they used to go to the Hindu families. Hindus, Mushrikeen, used to go to him in Mauritius in the time of the French occupancy. It was occupied by the French army. The French, the white French, used to take their wives to him because of their wives being sick. They used to say, Mulvi Saab. They used to say, Mulvi Saab. Mulvi Saab, make dua for my wife. He used to cure. He used to make tan tents. He used to make tents for him just to stay. People used to queue up for cures, cures, cures. Women that were affected by the disease of leprosy. French lieutenants of the French army at that time. French lieutenants, they, they were humbled so much be, before Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui. They used to bring their wives to him, leprosy. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui used to spit on them. By the time they removed their veil, their skin disease is gone. I'm not telling lies, this is not storytelling time. This is not Teletubbies, mate. SubhanAllah, these are genuine stories of the only Allah. Mullah Abdul Alim Siddiqui, he would go. One Hindu family in Mauritius was struck by famine. Their cows were so bony. No milk, no meat, nothing. They called Mullah Abdul Alim Siddiqui. They said, Mullah Sahib, make dua to your Lord. Bon Dieu, bon Dieu. Prie au bon Dieu. Make dua to your God that, that he gives... He gives, he, he restores good health to our, to our livestock. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui went up to the cow. These are all disciples narrated by his disciples. My grandfather, my grandfather, my grandfather's brothers. They were all disciples of Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui. They were blessed with this. My family was blessed with this. He would take the ear of the cow and he would say, Do you know who's come to see you? Do you know who's come to see you? Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui and he would mention all his family tree to Abu Bakr Siddiq Not soon after he left, milk would be ushered forth. This family, I mention no names, this family is a well-off family today. Because of the Barakah of Awali, and this is a Hindu family. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui, even the African, you got my boy? Um, Ban Krayol Chacha? Ban Krayol. The, in yeah, the Creole in Mauritius, the black Africans, yeah, black Mauritians, yeah, we call them Creole, that's their name, that's their name for them, Creoles. They're, mo mo most of them are Christian, all of them are Christian, all right, they drink and they do what not. You know what the Creoles did? Mullah Abdul Alim Siddiqui in the time in the 1930s, the beaches were beautiful, there was no fitna in those days, there was no nudity on the beaches. You could stay by the beach from Fajr till Isha, you wouldn't see no nudity. Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui used to walk, used to walk the, the, the sandy beaches of Shwazi. There's a beach in Mauritius called Shwazi. Beautiful beach, one of my favorite beaches. When he would walk, he would lift up his thawb. My grandfather tells me this. My grandfather's passed away now. 
He would lift up his thobe, and when he would paddle in the water, fish would jump out from the sea. Fish would jump out from the sea. To do what? To salute a wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know what the people were behind him? There were no murids behind him. The murids were looking. There'll be creoles, those black African fishermen. They'll be catching them in their nets. They'll be making a business. And the murids will say, what are you doing? Don't put them back in the water. One of the limbs said, this is their work. Let them go. This is the barakah. This is the blessings. Fish would jump out from the ocean. Such are the walis. And what does Rasulullah say? When you are loved by Allah, what happens? Everything in the heavens and the earth loves you.